Today in the U.S. there are only 500 infertility clinics and only 2,000 reproductive endocrinologists. What has happened historically, it's women are having issues and then they have to go in and then and only then is this type of testing done. And so we're switching that model up. We're opening up this type of testing to half the population. And so we're able to get economies of scale with that and pass all of those savings down to our customers. So tell us how modern fertility works exactly. So the way modern fertility works is women come to our website, they request a test. They can either test at home through a simple finger prick or go to a local lab. They get their results back in a few days and they get access to the modern fertility experience. I started thinking about fertility testing probably about a year ago. I'm in my mid-30s, that's when you start to hear about something you should consider. The test comes in the mail and, and there's an instruction sheet and it's just a simple finger prick and then you put this droplet of blood onto a card and mail it back in. You're testing for eight different hormones, including anti-malarian hormone. What does that mean? Anti-malarian hormone, AMH, is a hormone secreted by the cells that surround the follicles in the ovaries. And so by measuring the amount of AMH in your blood, it's a proxy of how many eggs you have in your ovaries at that time. One concern I've read is that your ovarian reserves aren't directly correlated to conception, that it's really the quality of the eggs versus the quantity. How do you sort of respond to that criticism? When you think about any woman today, there are many more important things in thinking about your overall reproductive health beyond your ability to get pregnant right now. And so AMH is not an indicator of your ability to get pregnant right now in this moment, but it has so many other helpful benefits in thinking about your reproductive health in a much broader sense. And so when we started Modern Fertility, we were really focused on starting it as this fertility education company and helping women understand understand the role that hormones play in your overall reproductive health. Initially, I just wanted to know about my AMH levels, but the results told me much more than that. They told me about my you know, estrogen and um, prolactin levels. There was a webinar with a nurse and she was there to explain what the results meant, why they tested for the hormones that they tested. You know, just to be around other women who had different questions than me, I just learned so much. So to be clear, Modern Fertility itself is not running the tests. You partner with certified labs, is that correct? Yeah, so we partner with uh, CLIA and CAP accredited labs. And what we've done is gone above and beyond the traditional laboratory standards in the space. So what we did is we conducted our own study and showed that a finger prick could be used interchangeably with a traditional blood draw. We are proud to announce that we are published in the top OBGYN medical journal, the Green Journal. And just a few weeks ago, we're reviewed in the New England Journal of Medicine. We're really showing that we believe in our science, we invest so much in our clinical strategy to just stand behind every single result that we're putting in front of, of customers.